everyone, it's Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Party Time Doll Outfit by Red Heart Yarn, and you can obtain a copy of the free printable pattern. I'll have a link in my description box below. And I'm going to be making this pattern in parts because there are different items in this outfit, and we'll be making a dress in the first part, a white fuzzy jacket in the second part, a purse in the third part, and shoes in the fourth part. And to make the dress, which is part number one of this video, uh, you're going to need some white satin ribbon or any kind of white ribbon that you can find, a scissors, a small black button, a sewing needle, a size G crochet hook or the size you need to obtain the gauge, and I'm going to be using two colors of yarn. I'm going to be using this cranberry red um, for the skirt of the dress, and I'm going to be using the black yarn for the bodice. And just you can use whatever color you want. I'm just using um, these ones because I have them on hand. And but what you want to make sure is that you're using worsted weight yarn, and you want to make sure that it is size number four or the medium weight. So other than that. We have everything we need, so let's get started. Okay, so the first part of the dress that we're going to make is the bodice, and we'll be working all um, the bodice from the bottom up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our crochet hook, and we're going to take our yarn, and we're going to create a slip knot. And then we will chain 44. And if you need to, you can look at my other videos or other videos from other YouTube users on how to crochet. Um, I'm assuming that you guys have a basic knowledge on how to crochet already from my other tutorial series. So if you want to see how a stitch is done, please check out another video. After you have chained your 44 stitches, we are going to join with a slip stitch in the first chain. So just make sure you're not twisting your chain. You can lay it out flat if you need to. But just bring your hook in to the very first stitch. There we go. Yarn over and pull through. And now we have created our ring, or the bottom part of our bodice, so this would be the waist of the doll. And then the instructions say that we will complete round one, which will be the right side of our project. So we're first going to chain one, and then we will single crochet in each chain all the way around. After you have single crocheted in each chain, you will want to slip stitch with the first single crochet made. And there we have completed round number one. And to we should have a total of 44 single crochets in this round. In rounds two through eight, we turn our work, we chain one, and we single crochet in each stitch around and so you will have a total of 44 single crochets in each round 2 through 8 and I am just going to complete those rounds off camera because it's very simple and then I'll come back when we're ready to do um, row 9. Okay so I just finished row 8 and now I'm ready to do the right back section of the bodice. So I'm going to turn my work, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet in the next ten single crochet stitches. Thank you. 
After I've completed my 10 single crochets, I am going to turn my work and rows 10 through 15 are worked as chaining 1 and single crocheting in each stitch across, turning after each row. And this will make the right back shoulder. So I've just completed row 10 and I'm going to turn my work and do row number 11. So just keep on creating this pattern up through row 15 and when I finish row 15 I'll come back and show you how to do row 16. After you've completed row 15 you'll want to turn your work and chain 1 and then we'll single crochet in the next 5 stitches. That completes row number 16. For rows 17 through 20, you will want to chain 1, single crochet in each stitch across, turning after each row. At the end of row 20, we'll fasten off and we'll have completed the right back section of the bodice. I have fastened off my yarn and now I have completed the right back portion of the bodice. So we are ready to move on to the front. And what you'll want to do is create a slip knot. And back to the bodice, you want to have the right side facing, which is the outside of our project. And we will want to skip the next two single crochets of row 8. So this is my first one, and this is my second one. So I'm going to insert my hook into the third single crochet of our right back portion. I'll fasten my yarn to my project with a slip stitch. And now I am ready to complete the front portion. I will want to chain one and single crochet in the same stitches join. We're going to single crochet in each of the next 19 stitches. And another tip is that I am actually weaving in my yarn as I go by crocheting over the top of it. You don't have to do this. You can wait till the very end of your project to weave in your ends. But if you can do it and it doesn't mess you up with your project, I strongly suggest doing this so it creates less work at the end of your project for finishing. So I have completed row number 9 of the front section of the bodice. You should have a total of 20 single crochets in this row. Now I'm ready to turn my work and start on row number 10. And all I'm going to do is chain 1 and single crochet in each stitch across. And as for rows number 11 through 13, you're just going to repeat row number 10 where you turn your work, chain 1, and single crochet in each stitch across. Once I've completed row number 13, I will come back and show you how to do row 14, which is the left front shoulder of the front of the bodice. I have completed row number 13 of the front of the bodice. I had a total of 20 single crochets in that row. And I'm ready to turn my work and start row number 14. So all I'm doing is chaining one, and then I'm going to single crochet in the next five sing stitches. I 
I'm going to leave the remaining stitches unworked and I'm ready to do row 15. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to chain 1, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across. Rows 16 through 20 are just a repeat of row number 15. You turn your work, chain 1, and single crochet in each stitch across. After you've finished row 20, you'll fasten off your yarn and you should have a total of 5 single crochets in each of rows 15 through 20. Okay, so I finished the left front shoulder and I'm going to complete the right front shoulder. So what you want to do is have the wrong side of your work facing or in this case the inside of the bodice. I'm going to make another slip stitch or slip knot, excuse me. On the bodice I am going to skip 10 single crochets on row 13 And I'll insert my hook into the 11th single crochet. I should say the 11th unworked single crochet of row 13. And I'm just going to attach my yarn with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch that I joined my yarn. To complete row 14 of the right front shoulder, I'm going to single crochet in the next 4 stitches. And that will complete row 14. I should have a total of 5 single crochet stitches in that row. In rows 15 through 20, I will chain 1 and single crochet in each stitch across, making sure to turn my work after each round. After I've completed row number 20, I will fasten off the yarn and then I'll be ready to come back and show you how to complete the left back shoulder. So I've completed the front of the bodice and now we're ready to do the left, left back shoulder. And we want to have the right sides facing or the outside of the bodice. I'm going to take my yarn, make a slip knot, Coming back to my bodice, I'm going to go to where I have the unworked stitches. I'm going to skip the first two unworked stitches of row num or round number 8, and I'll insert my hook into the third unworked stitch from the front of the bodice. I'll join my yarn with a slip stitch, and I'll chain 1. I'll single crochet in the same stitch as I join my yarn and now I'm ready to, com to single crochet in the next remaining 9 stitches. I have now completed row 9 of the left back shoulder and there should be a total of 10 single crochet and single crochet stitches in that row. For rows 10 through 15, you turn your work, chain 1, and single crochet in each stitch across. The 
There should be a total of 10 single crochet stitches in each of rows 10 through 15. And at the end of row 15, you will fasten off and then we'll complete row 17 through 20, which is the top of the shoulder. I have completed row 15 of the left back shoulder and now I am going to do row 16. And to do that, I'm going to make another slip knot. And I'm going to take my bodice and I'm going to turn it so the wrong side of the work is facing me or the inside of the bodice. And then it says to skip the next five stitches of row 15. Insert your hook into the sixth stitch and then we will join our yarn with a slip stitch. Once you have joined your yarn, you will want to chain one and then we're going to single crochet in the same stitch as we joined. And then we're going to single crochet in each remaining stitch, which there should be four more. This will give us a total of five single crochet stitches for row 16. After we've completed this row, we're going to turn our work and we're going to complete row 17 through 20 and all that is is chaining one and single crocheting in each stitch across this means that in rows 17 through 20 you'll have a total of five single crochet stitches for each row and at the end of the row you just want to make sure that you turn your work before you start the next row and after we have finished row 20, we'll fasten off and we'll sew the front and back shoulders together. Okay, so I finished the left back shoulder and I already started sewing one of the um, front and back shoulder sections together. I've also taken this time to kind of weave in my ends too. But I'm actually going to keep this tail on the shoulder and I'm going to show you how I sew it together. I just match it so my bodice has the right side facing outward and I just go up to the shoulder and I match up the stitches the single crochet stitches you should have five on the back and five on the front I take my yarn and I go down into the front loop of the stitch so just one loop and then I come up through the next stitch in just one loop and it's the inside loops and then I just pull through my yarn go to the next set of stitches, pick up one loop, and on to the next stitch, and I pick up one loop. So there's two loops on top of the stitch. I'm just grabbing the, in, the loops that are facing the inside of where I want to stitch. And I just continue on down the row It's my fourth stitch and these are my last two stitches of the row. Just like that. Now I bring my yarn to the inside of my project and where I had stitched everything together I just take and sew, put my needle through the stitches so I can fasten off. So I go down one way and then I just go back up the other way and just make sure that my yarn is secure and won't come out just like that. So it's basic sewing, it doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to hold it together because we're going to come now around both edges and create the sleeve edging as well as the neck edging. So that's our next step, we're going to do the neck edging. And I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to make another slip knot. And then back to our bodice. So this is, it should look like um, 
kind of like a swimsuit top in a way. <laughs> so you have with right side of the left back facing. So this is my back and this would be my left back. We are going to join A with the single crochet in the first stitch of row 15. So row 15 was this row right here. So we're going to go into the first stitch and join our yarn with a slip stitch. Okay, we're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet in the same stitch as join. Next, we're going to chain six. And then we're going to slip stitch in the fifth chain from hook. So one, two, three, four, five. Insert our hook into the fifth chain. And then just create a slip stitch so you get this ring. And that's how we're that that's gonna be our button loop. So we just made our button loop. And then working in each remaining stitch. And across the ends of the rows, we're going to single crochet 44 stitches evenly around. So we already single crocheted in the stitch on um, the corner here. So we're just going to come in and single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to single crochet across the row. Now we've come to the rows up the shoulder, so we're just going to single crochet in the ends of each row. And we're just going to keep continuing this all the way around, just spacing the 44 single crochet stitches as evenly as possible. And then after we have finished that, we're going to fasten off and I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the edging for the sleeves. Okay, I just finished sewing or stitching the edging all the way around the neck and I fastened off in the corner here. And I left my tail because now we're going to sew on the button. So all I need to do is make sure your needle that you choose actually fits through the buttonhole so you can make sure to sew it on. So I switched actually to a smaller needle. And all you do is, being my yarn's already attached to my work, I'm just going to take my button, just go down through a hole, just like that. And then go down through the other hole. I have a two hole button, you can use a four hole, it doesn't matter. And I'm actually going to sew through mine a couple times just to make sure it's secure. And then after I have sewn it on, I'm going to take and just Thread the yarn into the wrong side of the bodice. So I went the one direction, now I'm going to overlap and go the back the other way. There we go. So now my button is nice and secure. I can clip off the rest of the tail. And now I have a button for the back of the dress. Just like that. So now we can do the edging for the sleeves. And all you do is make another slip knot. And then with the right side of the bodice facing, or the outside, 
we want to join our yarn in any of the two single crochets on the bottom here. So I'm just going to join it in the one to the right with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one and then single crochet in the same stitch that I joined in. And I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. And now I'm going to be working in the ends of the rows all the way around. And you will want to have a total of 28 single crochet stitches. And so I just made two, so I'm going to make 26 more around the edge. And all you do is you go and find the row and you just poke your needle right into the end. And just single crochet. It's there's really no... I haven't found any specific directions on the right way to do it, but if you see in your stitches, there's these kind of these holes. Let's see if I can make them bigger for you. So I just poke my hook down one of those natural holes in the stitches and just single crochet in there. So I'm going to do all 28, and then when you go all the way around and you... Um, slip stitch in the first single crochet and fasten off and then you just repeat this pattern with the other armhole and Once I fasten off I'll be weaving in my ends and then we'll be ready to make the skirt for our dress Okay, so after we finished the whole bodice and around the edging of the arms and the neck and we had the buttons sewed on and everything We are now ready to do the skirt and this is where I'm going to change the color of my yarn. You can keep the same color if you want, but I'm going to change to a burgundy. I'm going to create a slip knot. And then with the bodice, you want to have the outside facing, but we're going to turn this upside down. And I'm going to find where I started my first chain stitch, which is right here. It doesn't really matter if you can't find it. It just makes sure that you have it um, starting in the back, about in the middle. And we're just going to join our yarn into the stitch. So we're basically working on the opposite side of the chain stitches from when we single crocheted. So I have my yarn joined. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch I joined my yarn in. And then I'm going to single crochet in each of the chain stitches around and I should have a total of 44 single crochet stitches when I'm done with this round. So all we do is we go into the next stitch. So if you see the single crochets um, from your first part here, you're just kind of basically meeting up with them by going through that same hole. And it's a little tricky at first, but with some patience and practice, it will get easy, easier as we go along. So I'm going to keep single crocheting around the bottom edge until I have my 44 stitches. And then at the end, I will be joining with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and then I'll come back to do round two. Okay, so I finished round one of the skirt and I'm going to turn my work. And then for round two, we're going to chain three. And that's going to count as a double crochet here and throughout the rest of the pattern when we chain three. And then we're going to double crochet in the first stitch And then we're going to complete two double crochets in each stitch around. So all you do is go into the next stitch, double crochet, and then double crochet again in that same stitch. So we have two stitches, or two double crochets per stitch. And when we get all the way around, we should have 88 double crochet stitches. 
and we'll join with a slip stitch in the top of our chain three and that will complete round two and then we'll be ready to move on to round three. After you've finished round two, you turn your work and chain three And then the directions say to double crochet in each stitch around, joining with a slip stitch in the top of the beginning chain 3. So you should have 88 double crochet stitches for round 3. And after you've um, slip stitched in the top of the chain 3, you'll turn your work and then for rounds 4 through 12, you'll repeat round 3, which is just chaining 3, double crocheting in each stitch around, and then joining with a slip stitch before you turn your work for the next round. And it's just going to be 88 double crochets in each round from round 3 through 12. And so that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep double crocheting, keep making my rounds, and then by the time I have finished round 12, I will come back and I'll show you guys how to do round 13. Okay, I finished round 12. And this is what the dress looks like so far. This is the back side. And now I'm ready to do round 13, which is the final round of the dress. And I'm going to turn my work. And the instructions say to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and chain four. And then it says to single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're just going to keep repeating this pattern. We're going to chain four and then keep single crocheting in the next stitch. We're going to do this all the way around so we'll have 88 single crochet stitches and 88 chain four stitches. And then once we get to the end of the round, we will join with a slip stitch and then beginning of the single crochet. So single crochet, chain four, and then single crochet, chain four. So you're going to end with a chain four and you're going to slip stitch on top of this single crochet stitch right here. And what you see is you get this nice frilly edge to finish off your dress. To finish off the dress, I just cut a piece of white ribbon and I am just tying it on, in a bow at the front of the dress. I'm just tying it just like how you would tie your shoelaces. Um, if you wanted to, you can actually cut a piece of ribbon that fits as a belt around her waist and put some Velcro on it to easily take it on and off when you dress and undress the doll. But other than that, that concludes the dress part of the project. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye!